Manifestation is a recipe for success that anyone can learn. The problem is if you miss even one ingredient and instead of rapid manifestation, it's more like you get reverse manifestation, repelling what you really want. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five simple ingredients to joyful manifestation. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Marcy Shimoff. I'm a featured teacher in The Secret. I'm the author of the New York Times bestsellers, Happy for No Reason and Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul and creator of Your Year of Miracles. And I have spent years studying how miracles work. And I've seen firsthand how manifestation can really transform people's lives, including my own. So if you've ever wondered how to start creating the life that you truly desire, or if you're curious about how miracles can show up in your life, then you are in the right place. Today's video is the perfect guide for beginners. And it also works for those of you who've been on this journey before. And I tell you that at the end of this conversation, you're going to have the tools that you need to start confidently manifesting more abundance and love and health and happiness. Now, manifestation might sound like a big magical concept, but trust me, it is something that we can all tap into. So what exactly is manifestation? Well, simply put, manifestation is the process of bringing something into your life through the power of your thoughts, your feelings, your aligned actions, and your beliefs. And it's really all about aligning your inner world with what you want to experience in your outer world. Now, here's the key. What you focus on expands. When you focus on what it is you want, and you do it with clarity and intention and right action, you start to attract the things in your life that you are most wanting. I hope that sounds like good news to you. And I want to emphasize that contrary to what a lot of people might believe, manifestation isn't about wishful thinking. It's not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It's about being an active participant in your life. All right, so here we go. The first step in manifestation is getting clear on what you want. Now, this might sound really simple, but it's actually where many people get stuck. Sometimes we just get so caught up in what we don't want that we forget to focus on what we do want. So take some time to really think about your desires. Are they really your heart's true desires, not somebody else's? What does it feel like? to be living your heart's deepest desires. And the clearer that you are, the more powerful your manifestations will be. And don't be afraid to dream big. This is your life that we're talking about and you deserve to live it fully. So one of the best ways to get clear on what you want is to write it down. You know, get a journal and start writing down about your dreams and about your goals. Describe them. The act of writing helps them solidify your intentions and make them really more real. And I, I can tell you, I remember years and years and years ago, decades ago now, when I just, I, my heart's deepest desire was really a soulmate. And I was, I would have relationships with wonderful men, but who I just knew weren't the right person for me. And I started to believe that it would never happen. I'd never meet my soulmate. And one day I realized that although I, told myself I wanted a soulmate relationship. I didn't really, hadn't gotten really clear on what it meant. I'd never really written out what are the qualities of that relationship that would make my heart sing. So I got busy on getting clear about what I really wanted in the relationship. And long story short, very soon after getting clear on the relationship that I was most wanting, my partner, Sergio came along and it's been 20, we're about to celebrate our 25th anniversary. So clarity is really everything. So that's the first step. Now, the second step is to align your energy with your desires. And this is where your emotions come into play. It's not enough to just think about what you want. You need to feel it. Our emotions are like a magnet and we attract our experiences based on our energy. Our emotions are part of our energy. You know, everything in the universe is energy. There's two energies. There's the energy primarily of contraction 
and the energy of expansion. And when you feel aligned and joyful and grateful, you're in the energy of expansion and you are so much more likely to attract into your life from that than when you're in the feeling of frustration. Oh, I can't get that. It's not happening. That's the energy of contraction. And the energy of contraction is going to give us just more contraction. So this is a really important point. Align your energy with your desires. Align your energy of joy and gratitude for as though that's already happened rather than the energy of frustration. And I promise you will become more and more a magnet for those miracles. You'll start to notice opportunities and synchronicities just showing up. You can even look at your life already and see how have you manifested from a place of greater expansion and joy and aligned from that place rather than than manifesting from fear and frustration. Now, the third step is taking inspired action. This is where it's common for people to get up, give up. They think that, oh, manifestation is just about the thinking and hoping and wishing for what you want. And they miss out on this very crucial part of the process, which is inspired action. And inspired action is action that is aligned with your intentions and aligned with you. And when you do take action, you're showing the universe that you are, you really mean business. You really, you are moving in the direction of your dreams. You're willing to take the steps that you need to take. And when you take those aligned action steps, what I found is that the universe responds by opening up doors. And inspired action isn't about forcing things to happen. It's about taking the steps that you feel most aligned to take with your vision. It's about listening to your intuition, following those nudges that are going to guide you towards your goals. Maybe you can remember a time when you did something that maybe it didn't make sense, but it felt right. There was an intuitive nudge to do it, and it ended up bringing you to some absolutely beautiful and wonderful outcome. And so take a moment and and really think what would be an inspired action that I could take that would really move me towards that deeper intention that I have, that close, that dream that's in my heart and move forward. Even if you don't see how it's going to happen, just take that next aligned step. Now, the fourth step is to let go and trust the process. And this can be one of the most challenging steps for people because It actually requires our surrendering control and our releasing attachment to a specific outcome. And believe me, this hasn't always been easy for me. I'm still working on it. And here's the thing. Letting go does not mean giving up. It means releasing the need to control every detail. And it's about having faith that something beautiful is unfolding in divine timing, not necessarily our timing, but in divine timing. Sometimes what we think we want is not necessarily what's best for us. And sometimes the universe has something even better in store. So we put out the intention, we align our feelings with it, we take action, and then we let go and we trust that the universe might have even something more miraculous in store for you than you have imagined. And when you let go, you make space for miracles to happen. It's like you hand the reins over to the universe and say, I trust, I trust. So now that's the fourth step. Now here's the fifth step. And that fifth step is a beautiful one. And it is stay open to miracles. When you're on the path of manifestation, you never know when or how a miracle can show up in your life. And it's important to stay open. It's important to keep your heart and your mind receptive to the unexpected blessings that might be coming your way. And miracles might not look the way you thought, and they might not seem grand. They don't have to be life-changing events. Sometimes they're small moments of grace. They're an unexpected solution to a problem or a chance meeting with somebody who just shows up and they just say the right thing to you that that changes the direction of your life. Or maybe it's a sudden insight that shifts your perspective. 
And when you stay open to miracles, you start to see them everywhere. So I recommend that you keep a little journal and you write down in your journal, what are the small miracles that showed up for you today? And, you know, I I said earlier, when you you get what you put your attention on, you get more of what you put your attention on. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. And what we put our attention on is what grows stronger in our life. So start noticing the good things, the little miracles that are happening, and you will get more of those. So let me just do a quick recap of the five steps. The first one is to get clear on what you want. The second one is to align your energies with those desires. The third one is to take inspired action. The fourth is to let go and trust the process. And the fifth is to stay open to miracles. So these steps are really a beautiful foundation for manifestation. And when you practice them consistently, you're going to start to see amazing things happen in your life. So use your life as an experiment. Don't take my word for it. Try it out. See how it works. And here's what I know. Manifestation and miracles are not just for a select few people. They are for everyone. And that includes you. You have the power to create the life that you want one step at a time. It's really about what we've just shared today. It's about aligning your thoughts, your feelings, your actions with what you truly want and trusting that the universe is going to meet you halfway. And I am here to support you every step of the way. You don't have to do this alone. That is what your year of miracles is all about. So whether you're just starting out or you've been on this journey for a while, know that you are part of a community of like-minded people who are all on the path to creating a life filled with miracles. So if you want a deeper dive into some easy steps that you can take right now to live in what I call the miracle zone, I've got an ebook that you're going to love. It's called The Four Biggest Mistakes That Keep You From Living a Miraculous Life. And inside the book, I I share what to do to avoid those four biggest mistakes. And I I think you're going to really love the solution to mistake number three. So visit miraclesebook.com or you can click the link below to get your free copy. And thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited for you to start your journey with manifestation and miracles. Keep believing, keep taking action, and most importantly, keep your heart open to the infinite possibilities that really await you. So here's to manifesting your dreams and living a life filled with miracles. And I send you my love.